Candace's force. <clears throat> the Bible's message brings joy, hope, and refreshment to both the teacher, student, and all who will listen and apply God's word in their life. Uh, please turn with me, please, to uh, Psalms 19, 7 and 8. It reads, The law of Jehovah is perfect, restoring strength. The reminder of Jehovah is trustworthy, making the inexperienced one wise. The orders from Jehovah are righteous, causing the heart to rejoice. The commandment of Jehovah is clean, making the eyes shine. The fear of Jehovah, oh, that's busy. Okay. So, no matter what our capabilities are in the preaching work, whether we pull one hour or 80 hours or even more, and in spite of some of the animosity that we might receive, we all have experienced the great benefits, the work that refreshes, especially when we generously give our time and see the exciting progress from our students and householders as we see the light in their eyes and heart as the Bible takes on the true meaning that finally makes sense to them. I have another scripture here I'd like to read, and uh, that is... Proverbs 11.25 Proverbs 11.25 It says the generous person will prosper and whoever refreshes others will himself be refreshed. So it's a uh, Pretty to the form, isn't it? So I am sure we all have experienced this type of two-way encouragement. John 4.34, it states that Jesus likens the preaching work as a spiritual food, just as important as the physical food that we consume to stay strong and nourished. You know, sometimes during the field ministry meetings, the conductor asked for recent experiences from our brethren uh, that may find invigorating as they relate to local experiences that show us that this work is guided by the angels and Jehovah's Holy Spirit. And in our hearts, we know it's nothing less. And in turn, our students or householder is given hope of a better world coming and the end of a corrupt system of government controlled by Satan and his demons that has brought death, suffering, and destruction to the earth since Adam and Eve's fall. Let's consider the experience of one sister that said, the ministry is refreshing because it gives my life direction and purpose. We not all felt that way after a good call. And she goes on to say that personal problems and Everyday stresses fade into the background as I share in the field service. I know I felt that way, and I know that many of you have felt that way more so. It's like a driving force for us, knowing that this type of food is priceless. You can also consider the experience of another minister that says, the ministry makes Jehovah real to me on a daily basis. It gives me peace and a measure of inward happiness that cannot be attained by any other means. So we can see what a privilege we have been given. 1 Corinthians 3.9 tells us that we are God's fellow workers. His field under cultivation and God's building. Now, of course, all of us have different circumstances, especially in a failing economy. A family head may have to work two jobs and they may not be able to do what they want to do. Therefore, the preaching work may be limited in the formal setting, but some of the best calls they tell me come from the informal setting. 
Nevertheless, one thing you can be sure of is that Jehovah will draw the rightly deposed to you in whatever setting the situation calls for. So in Colossians 3.23, it says, Whatever you are doing, work at it as whole soul, as for Jehovah, and not for men.